Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a kind of like monthly favorites video. It's like the end of February, so I guess you could call it like my monthly favorites. But I'm not just going to be doing favorites. I'm also going to be doing things that I haven't been really liking. If you are like new to my channel, I don't think you would know that I used to do like trash with Ash. And it has been a long time since I've done it. People that have been subscribed to my channel have been wanting another trash with Ash. So I thought I might as well just throw it in with this video because there's not like enough things to make it a whole video in my opinion. I'm gonna be doing like my favorites and things that I don't really like so let's go ahead and get started so I'm gonna start out with my favorites because that's like the main portion of the video so I have some skincare makeup hair products I don't know just like I just have like a bunch of random stuff I'm gonna just go in like random order this is like no particular order the first thing is this toner this is the Biore witch hazel toner and this is the one I'm almost out of there's like barely anything left so I bought a new one this one I did get for free but this one I bought myself because I loved it so much yeah I really like this because it helps my skin a lot and if I don't use it my skin gets not as good so I definitely recommend this I guess we're gonna go along with skincare okay honestly I don't really know why I picked this okay so I like I like it but I've only used it a couple times but I have to include it in a video it is good so I'm gonna go ahead and include it in my favorites but it's not like worth it if that makes sense but this is a really expensive product but I got it for free it's the Givenchy that's how you even say it. Wow, my camera already ran out of storage. But this is a good moisturizer, but I wouldn't spend however much it is. I think it's like $60. I wouldn't spend $60 on this moisturizer. But um, basically, it's like, kind of hard to see, but like it's a jelly. There's definitely better moisturizers, but like this one's really good. I like using it in the morning before my makeup because it gets a little bit tacky. So it's like good before you do your makeup. It's a good moisturizer so far. <laughs> that kind of like didn't make any sense at all, but... Yeah. Then the next two things are masks. So this one is a mask. And I did a whole video on this mask on my Instagram. But basically it's just by it's by the brand In is Free. I guess that's how you say it. And it's a poor cleric pore clearing clay mace mask with super volcanic cluster whatever that means but it is a really good mask the only thing about it is it's like kind of difficult to get off because it is like a clay mask but you kind of like expect that when you use a clay mask but i do really like it i think the packaging is really unique it's not like any other face mask you like open it up and then it's like a little seal type thing and it's a mousse so that makes it really easy to put on and i don't know just quick and easy you leave it on for 15 minutes and that's about it and then the next thing is this is the freeman cleansing apple cider vinegar clay mask and scrub this is just like a really good product overall you can use it as like a daily scrub i guess if you wanted to or a mask so when I use this, if I have more time, then I'll use it as, like, a mask outside of the shower. But if I don't have as much time and I just want to, like, use it because it's just, it's really good, I'll just use it in the shower and while my, like, conditioner is in my hair, I'll put this on. Every time I use this, I feel like my skin just feels better. It says it tones, purifies, and mattifies for a flawless complexion for all skin types. I have oily skin, so it's really good for that. And apple cider vinegar... And apple cider vinegar is really good for your skin. So, also, I was actually about to not order this mask. I got it off of Ulta, but I was about to not order it because uh, apple cider vinegar smells disgusting. So, I was really worried that it would smell like apple cider vinegar. But literally, you can't smell it at all, and it just smells like apples. So... I definitely recommend this, and it's like $5 for this whole big thing, and it's gonna last you a while. So, that's it for, like, skin care i'm gonna move on to like stuff that i have used in the shower and stuff like that you guys don't really ever hear me talking about hair care but you guys have like asked for like a hair care routine and i don't really do a lot like i don't really use like hair masks and stuff like that like i really don't know anything about hair care i did just recently get these two this just has water on it okay that's really cool but i did just recently get this shampoo and conditioner set from the brand Nature Lab, and this was sent to me through Octoly, but basically it's the Perfect Volume Shampoo and Conditioner. They have like lots of different types from this line. I can actually read off to you what there is. Okay, so in the box that they sent me, they sent me stickers, and I don't know if like when you order off their website if they like have stickers with it, but I'm pretty sure that they do, and they're really cute. But they also sent me this little thing that has like what they have. So there's one, for pretty much any hair 
type. So there's one for perfect shine, perfect volume, which is one I have, perfect repair, and, and perfect smooth. You have all of these kinds you can get. It looks like this. I think they're super cute and they smell so good. I think they describe as like Japanese cherry blossom scent and it smells so good. It smells like a perfume I have from philosophy so it smells expensive and i don't know i just really like it and along with it they have like a i'll get it they have this this is a perfect volume blowout jelly so basically you put it in your hair before you blow dry your hair and i don't blow dry it often but i did blow dry it to like see how it worked and it volumized my hair more and it made my hair really soft so I really like this stuff. The next thing is another hair product and it's a leave-in conditioning spray by the brand Briogeo. I got this in my BoxyCharm a couple months ago or the last time, I can't really remember, but I didn't really think I would use it that much because I don't really use a ton of hair products like I said, but I really like this and it smells so good. Yeah, it smells really good. It also makes my hair super soft. Like, I put this in after I shower and then I let my hair air dry. And when I brush my hair again, my hair is so soft after using this. And it doesn't make my hair look greasy or anything. It's just a really nice conditioning spray. Of course, I don't put it, like, on the top of my head. They also have another one. It's, like, a conditioning mask that I got in my BoxyCharm. But I don't really use it as much because this one sounds more, like... For daily use which is what I use it for I recommend okay then the next thing is what I use after the shower it's the Bath and Body Works jasmine and green apple whipped body butter as you can tell I love this stuff and I use it all the time I'm like getting kind of close to being out of it the smell it smells like green apple and it's amazing so I would recommend this if you can find it I got this on sale like 75% off and I didn't think I would like it so much and I really like it and I want to get another one but I don't know if they'll have it, but I definitely recommend this if you can find the smell in anything. Okay, so then this is just like a random thing, but this scrunchie I literally wear every day. Like, I love it so much. It's a brand new Melville scrunchie and all their scrunchies, I mean, they're gonna feel the same. So any of them are good, but I really like them because they're like more stretchy than normal. I'm literally doing a scrunchie review right now, but they're really good. I love it. And a lot of people have commented that I wear in like every video. And then the last two things in my favorite section is two makeup products. So this first one is a Becca highlighter. And this highlighter is the pig one. It's like the, um, it's a pig because it's like the year of the pig. So they put a pig on a highlighter, but that's not even like just why I like, I don't know. It's so cute for one, but it's just a really good highlighter. I'm wearing it today. If you can see it it's kind of hard to see in the sliding but it's really good and it's a nice formula i love becca highlighters formulas it's just a really pretty highlighter overall i love the color i love it on my skin tone i just really like it and then the last thing is this clinique mascara i actually just started using this um i don't really remember where i got this or how i have it but it's the high impact mascara i'm wearing it today as well it's just a really good mascara like i love the Too faced bts mascara as you guys probably know if you've been watching my channel i use it like all the time but this is just like a basic mascara like the wand isn't anything like super out of the ordinary or special but it's just really good it makes my lashes look good so that's why i like it and that's why i've been using it now moving on to my trash with ash section of the video i haven't done one of these in a long time so i have four things and none of the stuff i like hate hate like i have nothing against like the brands or what it is um it just ha didn't like work out for me as much or okay my camera should not run out of storage again in one video but like I was saying, um, I don't have like anything against these brands or what it is. It just didn't really work out for me or it wasn't practical. You'll see when I show it. Here we go. So the first thing is this Lancome product and Lancome is an expensive brand. Like it's expensive and I feel bad for saying this, but I kind of had it coming when I got it. So sent to me through Octoly. So I did get it for free, but obviously I'm going to be honest with you guys. So that's why it's like in this section. It's a rose highlighter and you guys have maybe seen it before. I think like Tati or Jeffree Star review this I'm not exactly sure but it's in this big huge packaging so first of all you're not gonna be able to travel with it um I think it's more of like a showy item I don't think it's meant to be like super practical and I understand that it is really pretty packaging it's just like not practical another thing is is you're paying a lot for this and it's in like really cheap cardboard packaging like there's nothing super crazy about it i mean it has sparkles on it but it's not like 
high quality packaging like this does not feel expensive so the highlighter itself is like pretty there's nothing crazy about it it's just like how do you really use it you can like swirl your brush in it but like it still doesn't give you like a great amount of product it's just nothing like crazy like i would not want to pay a lot for this i mean it is a cool idea but it's just not like practical like i said i personally would not pay 60 dollars for it um unless you just want to like keep it out and show it like on your vanity or something then it's cool but i don't know i feel like this is something like you could diy <laughs> if i'm being honest like you just buy a fake rose and put a little powder on it this also i'm pretty sure does not have that much product in it 1.9 grams whereas this has seven grams so if i had to pick i definitely pick this and this is like half the price so obviously i'm gonna continue to use it because i'm not just gonna like let this go to waste but it's just not great the next item is this which i can't really complain about it because it's elf and it's not that expensive like it's a cheap product but this just like didn't really work for me so it's just like a bronzer and a blush but the blush i have used once and i did not like it at all because it's so light and it's super shimmery which that's not really what i look for in a blush at all like i look for a matte blush and something that actually shows up on my skin and then the bronzer is like shimmery and like not metallic but like almost like it's just not the type of color that i would go for or the finish that i would go for i always also look for a matte bronzer and then like a nice highlighter so um i'll swatch both of them for you also my window is wide open and like there's people walking so that's really cool he's definitely looking at me that's awesome i'm just gonna wait for this guy to pass by because that's kind of awkward Oh my gosh, she's literally walking right by my window. I'm ducking. <laughs> okay, I literally have two windows wide open right now and then a window to the side, like that, where people just pass by. So, okay, anyway, back to the highlighters. Not the highlighters, the bronzer and blush. So this is what they look like. That's the blush, that's the bronzer. And I just don't like the colors or how they look on my skin. That's what they look like. The bronzer just kind of like doesn't show up a lot on my skin tone and it makes my skin look all weird and shiny. So I don't like it. But if you had like a lighter skin tone than me and you liked having like glowy products, you might like this. It's just not for me. And then the next thing is another thing like I can't really complain about, but it's just not worth like the five dollars it is so this is the cody airspun powder i really just don't want to open because it's so like it smells so bad some people really really like the smell of it and some people just hate it like it's kind of just it's personal preference whether you like the smell or not but to me it smells like a grandma like that's what a lot of people describe it as it just doesn't smell good to me at first i liked it but then it just gets to be too much and i would just rather have powder that does not smell like anything besides the smell um i got the translucent extra coverage one which i think is my problem it makes whatever makeup i have look so cakey whether i put like a little bit of concealer on or a lot of concealer on like it just makes it look so cakey either way i don't want that i don't want my makeup to look cakey i don't know about you i just would not like it to look cakey so i don't reach for this product almost ever the one good thing about it is that it has a lot of of product in it. It has 65 grams of product and let me go get the Laura Mercier. Whereas the Laura Mercier powder has 29 grams. So you're getting a lot more product in this for like five dollars versus like 30 something dollars. But to me it's almost just not worth getting like the five dollar one. I don't know. It kind of just depends on what you like or like what your budget is. Okay and then the very last thing in the video i believe yeah is this product this is the clarins glow to go it's like a blush and highlighter duo and it's in the shade glowy pink this i just don't really like because the shades are just weird to me like it says glow to go so you would think it would just be like a practical product that you can just throw in your makeup bag and use every day it's weird because it like throws me off because this highlighter is like a purpley pinky highlighter and it's not like a champagne -y, maybe goldish highlighter like you would really go for like a normal normal day like as you can tell that is just not the highlighter that i would be looking for i'm looking for more of a shade like this rather than this so okay like the formula is not bad like it's easy to blend it's 
nice. It's just the shades that I don't like. Um, and then the blush, it's just like a hot pink color, not like a more muted color that I would normally go for. That's why I don't like this. Okay, so that is it for the video. Um, just a little disclaimer. I'm still gonna use the products that I didn't like because I wanna get my use out of them and I'll get my use out of them either way. So don't think they're just gonna go to waste and I'm just like bashing on them. Like, it's okay. <laughs> I did wanna mention before I go, I am selling things on my Poshmark. So if you guys are looking for like markdown and makeup um then i'm selling some on my poshmark some is new some has been like swatched a couple of times like i'm not going to give you something that i've been like using forever like it's like barely used or swatched if you don't mind that if you are interested definitely go check out my poshmark it's just ashlyn duval yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you want more of these videos let me know because i will definitely do them i love you guys so much don't forget to comment like subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye